Welcome in YouTube, how are we doing? We are playing some flashing lights today. Flashing lights is a EMT sort of simulator game, if you will. You can enroll with the police, emergency medical services, or fire departments to take on missions. And each of the missions are unique to the police and to the fire services and to the EMTs. Um, it's quite interesting. Today we're going to be taking on the police service. I've broken it down so that we have taken the services into three different videos because otherwise the videos would be too long. So today, we, as I said, we're doing the police service where uh, it's quite interesting. I, I think the, the, the aspect from the police service has a lot more going on with it mission wise and uh, you'll see why. Right, so here's the character customization. Some quite interesting looking people here. Could put a hat on. The glasses, gotta have the glasses. Gotta have the Ray-Bans. And a face mask, they actually put a face mask in. Awesome. So, this is where you start off. Instantly you get a mission in. Have a quick look around. Go chat to this person over here, see what they do. So this is obviously where you book your people in. You get your vehicles and then change of service over here. So let's have a look at the vehicles quickly. I mean, quite cool looking. That's a bit better. Oh, beefy. Oh, beefier. What we call a paddy wagon over here and then your lifting truck. We're going for beefy McBeefy son. Yes, give me the beef. Have a look at the colours. Got plain black, all white, and then police logoed. So obviously we're going to go police logoed. Then these are your lighting systems. So we're going to stick with default. We're not going to mess about with that too much. So we're going to save that and get the hell out of here. There you go. Your lights are on. Lovely jubbly. And then it popped outside. There we go. So now what we're going to need to do is get out, have a look around the vehicle, accept a mission, get out on the mission. So I recommend you have a look around because this is what I did at first. I looked around the whole vehicle, checked things out, uh, had a look in the trunk or the boot as we call it. You guys call it a trunk. Um, but it's well worth looking into because it fit you figure out stuff like this that there's you know tire puncturers like the tire track splitters um speed guns all that sort of stuff here and then also you can find your shotgun this is where i found the shotgun and it doesn't tell you this the game doesn't hold your hand um it really doesn't hold your hand uh as far as i could see if i remember rightly there was no tutorial as such it just you it drops you in and you get on with it so i recommend that you do a lot of digging yourself so when you're walking around you look at stuff so we got a uh, stun gun taser that doesn't go through wires apparently we've got then we got our pistol nine millimeter pistol and we got the big boy shotgun. Yeah, yeah. The sounds for the guns are a little generic, but eh, you know, doesn't need to be anything amazing. So we've accepted a mission. We got to get an escaped prisoner. Uh, oh, I see what I've done here. Typically British, I get in the right-hand side of the vehicle because we drive on the left-hand side of the road, which is the right side of the road. But now I've got to get in the left-hand side because we're going to drive on the right-hand side because it's the wrong side of the road. Sorry. Right, so let's test out. So that's the horn. Let's test out the lights. Oh, no. S siren first. So it's two for the siren. There are two different sirens. Three different sirens. And then you double-click the number two to get rid of it then number one gets you your lights and then when you put your lights on your horn changes sound as well 
So shift brings up your in uh, your onboard computer, which allows you to check vehicles, uh, do the uh, radar, so ch check speed, and also you can check people's uh, identification. So we've got to the we got to the address where the perp is. We're going to get out of the vehicle. Is they should be around here somewhere. See, they should be around here. Ah, here we go. Ah, damn it. Missed. So, not a lot of range on the stun gun. I mean, obviously. And also, uh, quite a, a large reload time between. Ah, I'm going to get you, going to get you, going to get you, going to get you, going to get you. Ha! <laughs> Get stunned, bitch. So, our first perp brings up options. So, stay here. We can grab. We can frisk. So, we search them. We have an ID card. Okay. And then we're going to grab him. Take him back to the vehicle. I like this, how you can run with them and they run with you. This was a pretty cool option. So, put them in. So you actually got to put them in the vehicle, shut the door. It's very... Um, step by step I've noticed with the game especially when you get into the fire service and the, and the medical section it, very, it is very much step by step basis with the gameplay um, so we're back at the station let's get our perp out fuck it there we go close to the door get out you Teleported. So let's see what the booking in process is like. For some reason I want to frisk him again. I'm not sure why. Maybe I just wanted to touch him. You know, not 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 never inappropriately though. So there we go. Name booked in, boom, and we get points. So you get bonus. You get like green bonus plus points um, when you do something good, and uh, if you do bad stuff, you get red points, which are negative points, obviously. And I think my driving gets me most of my negative points. I think we're about to see some of my driving, my, my spectacular driving in a sec. Yep, here we go. Here's my spectacular driving. There you go. Red point. Because apparently I can't control a vehicle. Oh, and it just gets better. So I, I have a thing about pressing pressing shift. I've been playing a lot of games where sprinting is shift. So as I move, I've been pressing shift. Here's me trying to do handbrake turns. Press shift again. And um, yeah, we're stuck. I need to stop pressing shift. Very much stuck like back wheels off the floor type stuck so go to start go to help commands reset vehicle near character there is also another option for you to teleport your um player back to the precinct so that's pretty useful Uh, let's see if you take full damage. 
And apparently not. Neither does the vehicle. Uh, we seem pretty okay there. So, we have turned up to what I believe was an awesome mission and we're being shot at. See, now usually, if I'm being honest, I would have murdered this dude by now. But, uh, you know, with the reputation of the police and all, maybe you take a slightly less violent approach. So we've got the taser out. We missed. Too far away. Reloading the taser. Let's see if you can take him down without using a weapon. You can. Ah. So you can like rugby tackle. Turn around, fool. Need your ID. Okay, Hugo. And cuff ya. Oh, I'm gonna frisk you first. Okay, frisk you first. Surely I should have cuffed you first. Got a weapon off you. Awesome. I mean, you did shoot at me. That's kind of attempted murder on a police officer. Now get in the back of our car, prick. You're never getting out alive. So let's check this dude's um, ID. So we are, we're actually meaning to press this one this time. So we're going to check his ID. Go over there. See the little green button. I'm going to click on that. And doesn't seem to have anything in our database against this dude. I mean, he did shoot at me. So I don't think it matters whether this is a first time offence. I'm not going to let him go. He still shot at me. I'm going to be like, look, this is what you did, prick. This is what you did. Look what you did. Set this house on fire. Can we do anything about the fire to see if we got anything to manage the fire? So as I said at the beginning, it's, it's a really quite intricate game because it's all step by step and you have to do everything like from opening doors to going in the boot, picking up the fire extinguisher to trying to put out fires. So. We're going to show this dude why you never oh fire at a police God. officer. We're going to drive off cliffs. We're going to make him regret the day he ever pulled a weapon on me. Like, seriously. Shat himself. He's probably got a concussion from hitting his head on the roof. And we're back at the station. Let's get this prick out before I execute him. Oh, he's on the other side. Damn it. Okay, round to the other side I go. But I did like this about the game, how detailed it all was. Um, and there is a multiplayer option, which is interesting. So you can play with other players, uh, and you can all have a role. You can all be police, or you could all be um different people you one of you could be an emt the other one could be a uh, fireman the other one could be a police officer and the chase begins because you know you turn up to a robbery and the dude runs off hey come back here come, come back here ah that's it good man surrendered about to get 50,000 volts up his ass.
Frisk him. There we go. We've got a stolen item and an ID card. Grab hold. Let's get back. So, we're back to the person who had their item stolen. And we can actually, if we go to actions, we can return items. So, we return the stolen items. And we're going to grab this dude again. You, sir, are in the back of my vehicle. So as you can see also in the lower right hand side, we have the um, the vehicle checker running. Oh, by the way, the, um, the dude from the previous sort of robbery has already been booked. Hey, come here. Come here. See, now this I had to figure out. Um, I had to figure out how you pulled cars over and it didn't tell you how they pull cars over you have to hold the aim button so uh the right right mouse button while standing next to the car now while you're unarmed it will lift your hands up as if you're going to get into a fight but it actually stops and pulls the car over so this is us giving a ticket well like, look you've got no registration it was suspended this is your road you've got to write the name in now i didn't know this because i was like uh okay why is this not working and i was like oh wait you got to write actually write it in it's a jenny cooper no relation to alice cooper i don't think and then you know and right make sure you put the hyphen in the middle here because it's like that doesn't make sense i was like what do you mean doesn't make sense you got to put the hyphen in the middle have to put the hyphen in the middle. See, now we put the hyphen in the middle. Completely fine. $70. There we go. That's my player. The police side of things is much more diverse. So you can go from catching robbers to pulling people over, as you can see here. But for some reason, he's not getting pulled. Oh, really? He's running off. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, think that might be bugged. He just went through a building. And I can't. Okay, no worries. Are you going to shoot at me? This is our first fatal shooting, by the way. Shoot about as good as a stormtrooper. The aim feels a little, felt a little clunky. It would um move quite fast, but actually the movement's slow, if that makes sense. It would jolt across very fast, but the movement of the, the mouse heads were very slow. I didn't try changing that in the options, I'll admit. Uh, and we're calling in an ambulance to get this dude now when you're when you're arresting people you can call in um back up to bring a wagon instead of having to take them back to the main station um and you can you can call ambulance the ambulance when you need to as well so as i said the variety for the police seems a lot more diverse you can get into firefights you can uh do tickets you can do parking parking tickets you know vehicle uh pickups and um sort of uh, stoppages there's uh prison escape uh, escapes there's robberies there's so much to do on the police side and it's also why the police video is twice as long this was our only death now i thought there was only one perp but um turns out i was getting shot from behind I died. You can be revived and you can call for medical assistance. We called for medical assistance. It took them forever. Actually took them forever. So the next one is the fire service and EMT. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, the whole shebang. Thank you very much. Have a good day.